Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. As you can see I'm going to do another deck walkthrough today. There's a new deck I received this morning and that's the Oracle of the Unicorns. It says enter an enchanted realm of magic and miracles and this is by Cordelia Francesca Brabs but it's a mixture of different artists who've done the illustrations so it's actually quite nice because there's a lot of variety in the pictures and the interpretations um, it's 44 cards with a guidebook that we've got here and it's um, Blue Angel Publi Publishing standard for the sort of um, cards that they produce I feel um, now before I start going into more detail showing you the cards um, I was inspired to get this deck due to the Maddie reading that I did recently the Maddie McCann you might have seen that where I saw the image of her with a unicorn and she was really guiding me to get a deck with unicorns because I didn't have one and um, this one just felt like the perfect deck and it was so amazing because the day I was thinking about buying it um, I stepped out the back of my house and looked at the clouds and I saw a unicorn um, the sun's just come out as I've said that so see that's a sign and so yeah I've just got shivers wow um, so I knew, you know, I've got to get this deck. It was time. Maybe I'll do another reading where I use these, um, you know, another channeling. But for now, I just thought I'd share the cards with you all um, before I start using them so you can all appreciate them. You might be interested in this deck. As you can see, the back of the cards is beautiful. This starry night, lovely colours. Um, in this illustration. The cardstock is really good, usual sort of quite thick quality for um, Blue Angel. So I'm just going to like go through the cards, just show you them. I'm not going to really speak too much, I'm just going to let you appreciate the images. Then at the end I will do a card pull and um, We'll look at the image and see what comes out in the book as well, if you're interested. Um, I had a quick look through and I noticed there's no number on the cards. Um, but they're actually at the moment in alphabetical order. So like abundance, action, adventure. Um, that's where they've done them. So I thought I'd leave them in that order for the purpose of this walkthrough. So, as I say, here we've got abundance. There's the rainbow. I love the rainbow wings there. And as you can see, there's also a little bit of writing. Um, not sure if that's coming through clearly on camera, but it says, enjoy the bounty of life. Your supply is unlimited. Blessings are coming to you. And we've got action. I love the light there coming through the woods. It's like sort of coming through the trees, you know, like that inspired divine light. Adventure. Anger. This one's quite interesting. I like the way it's shadow, so it's like, you know, shadow work. Anger is a negative vibration, so it's, you know, confronting your shadow, isn't it? Awareness. Balance. Beloved, I love this one with the two unicorns. It says, prepare for your life partner. Romance is returning to your relationship. Believe you are lovable. Beautiful images, aren't they? 
celebration, compassion, courage, cycles, dance. Yeah, they're a bit stuck together, which is quite normal for new cards, isn't it? Um, but they're not too bad, though. Like some decks, we have to sort of pry them apart, you know? Um, okay, so delight. Discernment. This one's beautiful. Got the unicorn there by your side. Expansion. Breaking free. Flow. It says find an easier path forwards. Surrender the outcome. Release your expectations. Green for the heart chakra. Open your heart. Freedom. Friendship. This is one of my favourites. Um, I just love, I think that's a squirrel there, aren't they? Yeah, on its head. It's just so sweet. And this one as well is one of my favourites. Gentleness, just the colour there of the sunset. Really beautiful, warm, healing light. It says, be kind to yourself and others. Honour your gentleness. Speak words of love. Goddess, growth, healer, hope, yeah it's like seeing the light, imagination, innocence, Intention. I love this one as well, the way the wings are connected to the divine. Yeah, it says, be bold with your request to the universe, yeah. Send them out and then let them go. And you will receive. Intuition. Leadership, I love that, the strength on its hind legs. Magic. Miracles. So that's the image on the on the box as you've seen already. Nature. Partnership. Passion, this is beautiful as well. It's on fire, like the phoenix rising. It says, get fired up about your life. Do what excites you. Past lives. Patience. Polarity, yeah, this is like the yin and yang. It says, integrate your shadow side. There can be no light without dark. Understand the law of polarity. Possibility. Prosperity. You're a bit stuck. Rebirth, yeah, it's like coming out of a flower here, blooming, it's beautiful. Receive, sanctuary, strength, support, and the last one is trust. 
So as you can see, yeah, they're all quite different, aren't they, um, in terms of the artwork, with it being different artists, but um, really quite magical images there. Okay, everyone, I'm back. I just took a moment to cleanse the cards, give them a good shuffle before I pull a card now on camera for you all. Um, and then we'll look at the message in the guidebook. So obviously then you um, sticking a little bit. So we'll see if one really sticks out. Yeah, there we go. We got one. My favourite, well, one of my favourites. <laughs> so that's beautiful. Okay, bottom of the deck. Cycles. It says everything has its right time. Honour the cycles of your body. Tune into the moon's magic. Yeah, so you might work with the cycles of the moon. Or you might notice shifts that happen with you where you connect with the moon cycles. Things that happen in your life as well that happen around those times. The moon is very powerful. Um, so waning moon is if you want to do any sort of releasing of things from your mind or in your life banishing and the waxing moon to attract full moon as well is obviously very powerful okay so let's look at the card that's come out gentleness be kind to yourself and others honor your gentleness speak words of love so beautiful, isn't it? It's like that alone time in nature, watching the sunset, which is a wonderful experience, isn't it? I'm sure a lot of you have, have done that before. Um, like being in a safe place as well. So let's see what the book says on this one. So, yeah, the book has them in alphabetical order as well. Just notice that. Um, so that's quite easy to find it. You just look for the word. So let's see what it says. Um, this card represents a sensitive, gentle soul with a deep connection to animals and the natural world. This is someone who tends to feel out of place in this noisy world of busy people. You may be feeling more overwhelmed than usual or find that you need to spend more time alone in quiet places. The unicorns encourage you to honour your desire for peace and quiet and know that gentleness is a sacred gift that needs to be nurtured and expressed more often. Sensitivity is an indicator of powerful intuitive and psychic abilities and should be nurtured, not repressed. You may feel uncomfortable about addressing a conflict, find yourself in a confront, confronting situation or realise it is time to take a stand for yourself. Responding to a situation with kindness does not make you weak. Your softness comes from deep strength and immense courage within. Rather than shrinking away from a situation or wondering if you should be stronger or louder, understand that you can make change in gentle, loving ways. Humanity needs the gentle souls to lead the way into a new reality, one in which kindness and compassion are upheld as the highest qualities. You can show the way by sharing your gentleness with others and demonstrating how to love and honour every living being. This card may be calling you to conscious activism where you can make a stand for innocent animals in a loving yet powerful way. There's a bit more. Be more willing to speak words of love and demonstrate acts of kindness. Share your beautiful gentle light more brightly in the world. And then they give you the image at the end there. So you get, yeah, the card and the word. I um, hope you can see this because I notice the sun keeps coming out here. 
which is beautiful. Um, oh, isn't that interesting? So they don't all have the big image at the end. Some of them do. And this one did. As well. Had sort of two images, but some of them it's just a small image. Okay, everyone. So it's quite a brief little walk through there just to share the cards with you. I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, please let us know in the comments what you think of the cards, if you like them. Look out for them soon on my channel in readings as well. Much love to you all.